Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will discuss how to make liquid organic fertilizer from free ingredients for plants. Weak plants will become fertile after being given this organic fertilizer. Rice water contains nutrients such as vitamins, minerals, and carbohydrates that support root growth, photosynthesis, and strengthen plant resistance. It can be used directly by watering or fermenting it for optimal results, but make sure it is not too thick to avoid damaging the roots. Rice water is beneficial for vegetable plants as a natural liquid organic fertilizer that fertilizes the soil, strengthens roots, accelerates photosynthesis, stimulates growth, increases disease resistance, and helps flowering and fruiting because it is rich in nutrients such as starch, vitamins, and minerals, phosphorus, nitrogen, iron, that support vegetative growth, leaves and stems, and overall plant health. Main benefits of rice water for vegetable plants. Liquid organic fertilizer. Contains carbohydrates, vitamin B, phosphorus, nitrogen, protein, iron, calcium, zinc and potassium as essential nutrients. Fertilize the soil. Starch and organic matter help form good soil structure, make it loose and retain water better, and support beneficial soil microorganisms. Strengthens roots and growth. Nutrients promote healthy root development, accelerate stem and leaf growth, and increase plant vigor. Increases photosynthesis. Minerals such as magnesium and iron aid in chlorophyll synthesis, making leaves greener and healthier. Increases resilience. Strengthens plants against environmental stress, heat, drought, and helps fight pests, diseases. Stimulates flowering and fruiting. Phosphorus content stimulates faster flowering. The best time to give rice water to plants is in the morning or evening when the weather is not hot, with a maximum frequency of one to two times a week. Use the first rinse water that has already swollen, a one to two ratio with regular water, and avoid overdosing to prevent root blockage or fungal growth. It's best to apply rice water when the soil is starting to dry out to maximize nutrient absorption. Time and frequency morning or afternoon. Water at a time when temperatures are not too hot to avoid plant stress. One to two times a week. This frequency is sufficient to provide nutrients without risking oversaturation or damaging the plants. Early rice plant phase. Can be applied two to three times a week for one to four weeks after planting to encourage growth. Correct use use the first wash. The first wash contains the most nutrients. Dilute. Mix rice water with plain water, 1 to 2 ratio, to prevent overconcentration. Use immediately. Ideally, use the rice water within 24 hours of washing, or store it in a sealed container in the refrigerator to prevent fermentation. Check soil condition. Water when the soil is semi-dry to allow the roots to absorb nutrients effectively. Avoid daily use. Adding rice water every day can cause the soil to harden, encourage harmful bacteria, fungi, and damage the roots. Rice water fertilizer is suitable for plants, vegetables, spinach, kale, mustard greens, lettuce, chilies, and tomatoes, ornamental plants, snake plant, aglaonema, and pothos, rice, very beneficial in the early stages of growth. The combination of coffee grounds and coca peat is an excellent mixture of planting media or compost because coffee grounds are rich in nutrients, nitrogen, phosphorus, 
potassium, and cocopeat functions to improve soil structure and retain water, creating a fertile planting medium and optimal aeration for plant growth, often used in hydroponics or as a biopot material to replace plastic. How to use Planting media mixture Mix dried coffee grounds with cocopeat and soil, if necessary, in a specific ratio. Rice husk charcoal can be added for better results. Compost fertilizer Use coffee grounds and cocopeat as the base for compost, mix with other organic materials, and compost until mature. Hydroponic media This combination can be used in hydroponic systems, such as wick systems, to support the growth of plants like melons. Biopots. This combination can be molded into biodegradable planting pots, biopots, to replace plastic polybags. Combined benefits. Soil fertilizer. Coffee grounds provide essential nutrients such as nitrogen, N, phosphorus, P, and potassium, K that plants need water absorbent cocopeat coconut fiber has a high water absorption capacity six minus eight times its dry weight maintaining the moisture of the growing medium media structure improves aeration and drainage of the growing medium preventing soil compaction organic material source both are biodegradable organic waste improving soil quality Applying coffee grounds and cocopeat to plants can be done at any time, but the ideal times are as follows. Coffee grounds. Regularly throughout the year. Coffee grounds can be added to the soil around plants or as part of compost periodically to provide a consistent supply of nitrogen, potassium, and other minerals. 1. During planting medium preparation. Adding coffee grounds to the growing medium before planting can help improve soil structure and increase initial fertility. 1. When plants need a nitrogen boost plants showing signs of nitrogen deficiency, such as pale yellow leaves, may benefit from an application of coffee grounds mixed into the topsoil. Cocopeat. When planting or repotting, cocopeat is most often used as a primary component of growing media to improve water retention and soil aeration, so the best time to use it is when preparing new pots or planting beds, too, for mulching at the beginning of the growing season. Using cocopeat as mulch at the beginning of the growing season can help maintain soil moisture and suppress weeds as plants begin to establish, too, when the soil is too dry or compacted. If the soil around the plants dries out too quickly or becomes compacted, adding cocopeat can help improve the situation at any time of the year. Signs of thriving plants after applying organic fertilizer usually appear within a few days to a week after application and involve various aspects of plant growth and health. Here are some key indicators. Faster growth. Plants will exhibit an increased growth rate, such as the emergence of new shoots, leaves, or branches in greater numbers and more quickly than usual. 1. Greener and brighter leaf color. The nutrient content, especially nitrogen in organic fertilizer, will increase chlorophyll production. This makes the leaves appear a deeper green, fresher, and less dull, 1, 2, wider and thicker leaves. In addition to color, leaf size will also increase.